Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfare.com. Today's topic of our discussion is classification of algae by fridge within 10 minutes. At the end of the video, you will be able to understand the definition of algae, history and criterion of fridge classification, characteristics of 11 classes proposed by fridge with examples. We will be using examples to explain the characters of each class. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. It is unfair to start without saying something about the importance of the most important group of organisms on this planet. Algae are the world's most important plants, but the most underappreciated group of plants. Our lives depends on algae. Let's take some examples. So these are microscopic diatoms that is massive on oceans. They are microscopic algae. This is a tropical rainforest. This diatoms contributes more oxygen than this tropical rainforest. Nearly 50 to 60 percent of oxygen is produced by this algae. They are not pond scum. They are the most underappreciated organisms on the planet. They are the air we breathe the food we eat controlling the entire aquatic ecosystem, they are the ancestors of land plants. We are hoping for a fuel from algae, biofuel from algae. There are many medicines we are getting from this group. With this, let us define algae. Algae are chlorophyll bearing autotrophic thallophytes with a cell wall made up of pure or mixed carbohydrates. They are primarily aquatic. The most comprehensive and massive classification was proposed by Felix Eugene Fritsch, a British biologist. In his book, Structure and Reproduction of Algae in two volumes, and these were the criterion for this classification. Based on pigmentation, reserve food material, flagellation, presence or absence of nucleus, that is eukaryotic or prokaryotic, and also considered the reproductive nature of different groups of algae. He classified algae into 11 classes. These are the classes. Chlorophyceae, which is called as green algae, further classified into 9 orders. Then Xanthophyceae, yellow green algae, further classified into 4 orders. Third one is Chrysophyceae, orange algae, that is further divided into 3 orders. Then Bacillariophyceae, where the diatoms belongs, that is divided into 2 orders. Then Cryptophyceae, it's called as brown algae, nearly brown algae, that is divided into two orders, then dinophyceae, dinoflagellates with six orders, and the seventh class is chloromonadinae, that's a bright green algae with a single order. Eighth class is eglinophyceae, the ninth one is phyophyceae, the brown algae, with nine orders, and the tenth one is rhodophyceae, red algae with seven orders. And the final one, mix of ice or blue green algae with five orders. So, this is probably the most detailed and comprehensive classification of algae. So, class one, chlorophyceae. It's also called as green algae. So, these are the examples absolutely beautiful creatures under the microscope. This is Volvox, this is Pediastrum. Let us see the characteristics. Occurrence it is usually aquatic, mostly freshwater, rarely terrestrial. Structure it is unicellular, can be unicellular, multicellular, often filamentous, heterotrichous that means there is a prostrate filament and there is an erect filament. There can be heterotrichous, the scara is heterotrichous, mostly filamentous. Pigments include chlorophyll A and B, then alpha, beta and gamma carotenes lycopene, xanthophyll, etc. Then the reserve food is starch. Pyranoids are present. Pyranoids are structures that consist of starch plates surrounded by proteins. Then cell wall is cellulosic. Flagella, there are motile cells. There is equal flagella as you can see in this chlamydomonas, equal flagella. So it is called as isocont. Iso means similar cont, isocont. Then reproduction, vegetative, asexual and sexual method, isogamous, anisogamous to advanced oogamous method. Isogamous means the mating gametes are of similar 
structure and morphology anisogamous means the male gamete will be smaller and the female gamete will be bigger and advanced dugamous means male gamete is smaller it can swim it is motile whereas female gamete is non-motile and large examples include cladophora cephalu the pediastrum this is wall box called as dancing ball absolutely beautiful under a microscope then there is pediastrum Eulothrix, Idogonium, then Cara considered as ancestors of land plants, then the most common Spirogyra. Then class 2 is Sandophyce, it is also called as yellow green algae. Characters, they are mostly freshwater, rarely marine, uniceled motile to filamentous equines. As you, as you can see, this is uniceled motile, these are filamentous. Pigments include chlorophyll A and E and beta carotene. Sandophyll, there is neosanthin and vilosanthin. Reserve food is oil. Then pyroids are absent in this group. Cell wall is rich in pectin. Flagella is two unequal flagella, that is why it is called as heterocon. Different types of flagella. Reproduction, vegetative, asexual, and sexual methods, mainly isogamous, anisogamous, rarely ugamous. Ugamous in Waucheria is seen. So these are the examples, Chlorothesium, Tribonema, Botridium, etc. Third class is Chrysophyce, which is called as Golden Orange Algae. They are mostly freshwater, rarely marine, structure unicelled motile, just like this, to filamentous branched. This is Dinobryon, a tree-like appearance under the microscope. Pigments include chlorophyll A and C and beta-carotene and phycochrysine, which is a typical pigment of chrysophyce. Reserve food, leucosine, fats, and chrysolaminarin. Pyranoids are absent. Cell wall is silicaceous or calcified. Cellulose is absent. Flagella, two equal or unequal flagella. It can be isoconed or heteroconed. Reproduction by vegetative method, asexual method. Sexual reproduction is rare. If present, it is sometimes isogamous. Examples includes Dinobryon, Primnesium, Chrysophera, etc. Moving into class for Bacillariophase, your diatoms. They are also called as yellow or golden brown algae. They are cosmopolitan in distribution, even in soil, terrestrial, massive, massively distributed in oceans, even can be viewed from space. Absolutely beautiful structures, they are often called as nature's nanotechnologist under the microscope we will be amazed to see these beautiful algae structure unicellular or colonial then pigments include chlorophyll a c beta carotene fucosanthin diatosanthin and tidinosanthin diatosanthin is a characteristic of this group reserve food is fats and volutin pyranoids are present then cell wall is silicaceous. There is an outer layer. This outer layer is made up of silica and inner layer is often made up of pectin. Flagella, there is a single flagella if present. Reproduction by cell division and also by oxospore formation. Examples include pinularia, simbella, navicula, etc. They are one of the most diverse groups of algae. Then the fifth class is cryptophyce often called as nearly brown algae. Occurrence both freshwater and marine structure, unicellular with anterior groove or pocket. As you can see, there is an anterior groove. Then pigments includes chlorophyll A, C, diatosanthin, phycocyanin, and phycoerythrin. This is a bluish pigment like phycocyanin, whereas phycoerythrin is a red-colored pigment. The surf food is starch or oil. Pyranoids-like structures are present. Cell wall is absent, flagella, biflagellate, equal or unequal. Reproduction by binary fission, sexual reproduction is very rare. If present, it may be isogamous. Example includes cryptomonas, crewmonas, etc. Then the sixth class is dinophyce, the dinoflagellates, the bioluminescent algae that is widely present in oceans. Occurrence mostly marine, rarely freshwater. Structure, it can be unicellular, branched, or filamentous. Absolutely strange structures. Pigments include chlorophyll A, C, beta-carotene, xanthophyll, 
then there is peridinin and neoperidinin reserve food is starch or fat it is having discoid chromatophores cell wall is cellulosic flagella it can be biflagellate equal isoconed reproduction sexual reproduction is very rare example includes serratium nocticula peridinium etc then the seventh class is chloromonadenia it's called as bright green algae or also called as raphidophyce occurrence is fresh water structure there is motile unicells pigments includes chlorophyll a xanthophylls reserve food is fat and oil pyrenoids are absent cell wall is absent then flagella biflagellate equal flagella isoconed then reproduction by cell division sexual reproduction is completely absent example is corneostoma and the eighth class is euglena it's pure green algae occurrence fresh water only unicellular chlorophyll pigments include chlorophyll a b beta carotene astaxanthin diaxanthin neoxanthin the serve food polysaccharides and paramyelin pyrenoids similar structures are present then cell wall is proteinaceous then flagella one or two reproduction cell division sexual reproduction is very rare in this class belongs the euglena and the ninth class is phyophyce which is a large class with many members called as a brown algae they are mostly marine often forms large sea kelps there is a sea named after this algae which is called a sargasso sea there is massive beds of algae actually supporting that ecosystem this massive brown algae giants brown algae are called as kelps pigments include chlorophyll a c beta carotene xanthophyll the cell food there is mannitol laminarin and oils cell wall polysaccharides then alginates fucose containing sulfated polysaccharides etc flagella motile gametes two laterally attached flagella is heterocont reproduction asexual reproduction by fragmentation or so spores where asexual reproduction it can be isogamous oogamous or anisogamous examples include laminaria then there is sarcasm dictyota then ectocarpus and uh, this is a sarcasso sea you can see in atlantic ocean this is actually the feeding ground for all organisms so actually supporting this ecosystem providing a special type of ecosystem that supports all kinds of aquatic organisms 10th class is rhodophyce or red algae it is mostly marine and rarely, rarely fresh water unicellular to complex parenchymatous structures pigments include chlorophyll a and d phycoerythrin and phycocyanin phycoerythrin gives the red color then also carotenes the serve food is floridian starch a special type of starch which is called as floridian starch cell wall outer wall is made up of polysaccharide whereas inner wall is often made up of cellulose then flagella is absent reproduction advanced oogamous they are considered as the most advanced group of algae examples include betacosporum polysiphonia porphyra ceramium crassularia crassularia which is a source of agar agar that is widely used in media preparation in plant tissue culture and also in bacteriology this chelidium and crassularia are the source of agar and the final class is mix of ic which is the blue green algae or cyanophyce they are fresh water they are unicellular and prokaryotic this is the only one prokaryotic class they don't have a true nucleus pigments include chlorophyll a xanthophylls phycoerythrin and phycocyanin phycoerythrin is a red colored pigment whereas phycocyanin is a blue colored pigment the reserve food is cyanophyce starch which is a special type of starch then cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan similar to bacteria flagella is absent reproduction asexual reproduction by fragmentation fission akinetes and hormogonia akinetes are resting spores whereas hormogonia are short filaments that can withstand unfavorable conditions and give rise to new filaments on return of favorable conditions sexual reproduction is absent examples include oscillatoria as you can see this is filamentous absolutely beautiful group then no stalk this slimy structures under the microscope it is absolutely beautiful just like green beads 
this is no stock under the microscope as you can see this is a akinete and there are heterocysts etc different types of cells heterocyst is involved in nitrogen fixation actually this group of algae contributes very much in nitrogen fixation helping the plants to fix nit atmospheric nitrogen with a special type of cell which is called as heterocyst and that is it we have discussed the 11 classes of algae say algae and most people think of pond scum what they don't know is that without algae none of us would exist if you find this video useful, please subscribe, share and like. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.